is always a good day when my friend Woody from Kicks 104 is on the show. I love it when he's here. We have such a good time. It, it ought to be a fun show. We're doing scallops with mushroom risotto, a great dish. It's all Woody. You, you got This is all Woody. So it's our Weber feature recipe for the month. Come on in the kitchen. Let's get started. He's waiting on us. This is cooking today. Hey everybody, welcome into the show. We want to thank you so much for being with us today. We are doing our Weber feature recipe for the month. And as always, Woody is here from Kicks 104. Thanks for having me in, Chef. Buddy, it's, it's my favorite day of the month. We love having you on the show, man. It's a great deal. I, I love having you here. I'm excited, and today we are making quite possibly one of my favorite Tell things Tell them what ever. we're making. We are going to be making a mushroom risotto. Yes, sir. And pan seared scallops mm. all together absolutely wonderful stuff we've already preheated our skillet apparently really hot oh yeah we're gonna go about two tablespoons of olive oil a couple of pats of butter and chef is being so kind I got as to chop up some shallots and garlic shallot and garlic already done you want all that shallot you want the rest of that one? yes please okay have you ever had too much? No, no, no. No, no, no. It's a good, good And since thing. our pan is so hot, we're going to be careful not to burn that garlic. That's goal number one is to never burn your garlic. Did we open the wine? Are we, are we good? I Do did I... open the wine. Okay, you the man. You can always trust me to open the alcohol, You the man. <laughs> so we're going to start this here and get it to where the onion and garlic is starting to just get done already. It's happening nice and fast for us, which is great. And as it starts to get translucent, even before it starts to caramelize, then we can add in our Arborio rice for our absolutely delicious risotto. Man, and you know, it, it's about perfect right now. such a good way to go. I mean, the Arborio rice is so flavorful. You can do so much to it. And just like I've always done with any of the rice, at this point, it's about starting the absorption, getting that rice to start to caramelize as well. But you want it to be able to take on flavors. And it, and there's a lot of flavors to take on oh my in this goodness. dish. It's really going to be good. I mean, and the, just the butter and the garlic together with the shallots. I'm standing here going, well, I mean, I could just, just make me a plate of that. We're already <laughs> winning. You've already won. I'm telling the you. The game is over. I'm telling you. So here we go. We're getting it. We're getting it there. It takes just a second. Now, we've also heated up our chicken broth. And the chicken broth, we're going to add this in stages to the risotto. Just like always. So you really want it nice and hot. You want it almost to a boil so it doesn't lower the temperature of the dish you're adding it to. And it looks like we're about ready to add the vine. Yes, you want to make sure that it is absorbed. All the water is gone before you add a little bit more. You just always work in stages. Now, do you want to use a ladle for that, or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, but we're going to add the wine first okay. to let that absorb. It's right there, yep. And we're using a white, a Pinot Grigio. You can really, you can't fail. Again, you're putting wine in it. <laughs> white wine is the victory. I like something like a Pinot Grigio. You can use Chardonnay. Chardonnay works, yep, it sure does. And I am quartering these these little mushrooms for the risotto. And we're using three different kinds. We're using these little portobello, these little baby bellas. We're using shiitakes that are locally grown, by the way. And we're using a button mushroom that are already sliced that you can get right in the store. So those are sliced. I'm quartering the little bella mushrooms. And then the shiitakes don't have, they have the stem taken out, so they're cleaned and ready to go. Yep. And I like to, I like to alter or, or to vary up the ways I cut the mushrooms. It just, it just adds a little bit different texture to the, to the dish. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
I, I didn't make fun of Woody earlier about the mustard. <laughs> I, no, I, he sure I did didn't. not make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we had to clarify, right? <laughs> What a great dish. Now we need a ladle because our wine is absorbed. The alcohol is already cooked out of it. it is, and we're, we're going into the um, adding liquids process for our risotto. Okay, buddy, here you go. Thank you, sir. Get it as close to that hot liquid as you can so Be you don't get it Be real careful. Be real careful when you're transferring. And listen to that. Mmm. Just a little at a time. Risotto is really kind of a labor of love. And I, I was talking to somebody last night about it because I practiced. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that <laughs> it wasn't going to be awful. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I've always been intimidated. Don't. You're just cooking rice. That's We're just a, making it good. That's all you're doing. And listen, and I've said it before. We've made risotto on the show before. This is something that you just have to give the 19 minutes, 20 minutes that it is due. You just have to be patient. You cannot leave it alone. Do not walk away from your risotto. When the water is absorbed, it'll start to stick to that pan right away. And you need to add some more. You need to be right there. So do not walk away from it. Essentially, your risotto is a naughty toddler. Yes, You've got to stay right on top of that naughty toddler. All the time. If you want it to turn if into you, a great child. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. And that's for men with great children. <laughs> well, yours is great. <laughs> you guys, stick around. We'll be back in just a second. We're going to keep on working here. we got a lot more prep to do. We're going to keep on staying busy. This is cooking today. Stick around. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Our risotto smells so good. Woody, it, dude, it's rocking over here. It's, it has shallots and garlic. Oh, my we won. goodness, man. <laughs> we, we are total winners today. And we're going to keep on going here, you guys. We have our mushrooms that need to get cooked, and our pan is starting to smoke here, Woody. Oh, that means it's hot. Let's All ready. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and slice oh, up the shiitakes a couple of times just to give it a little bit different look. The three different mushrooms in there will be great. So these guys just get a protection of their fingers. You know what I like to do with these? They're flat. I like to stack them up and get two at a time. Just really helps that prep time go down if you're slicing two or three at a time. So just simple like that. And there's all our mushrooms ready to go. A little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter. Didn't even measure. Two, ba two pats of butter, a little bit of olive oil. Put the sliced ones in there first. And there's no particular reason, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. They're a little bit bigger. They, they have a little bit more substance to them. And, you, and you know, you want them all to have the same, you know, cooked down about right. the same. And normally, we would season that. We would put some salt and pepper on that. But because when I make risotto, I've noticed, I'm gonna, we're going to add Parmesan cheese at the end of this. And if you, that's really salty. Oh, yeah. And if you've been seasoning it probably the way you should the whole time, you can blow your taste buds out with salt and kind of kind of ruin your risotto. Oh, yeah, your guests will be mad because it's just not the best. You no, my guests I mean? won't be mad because I still serve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, serve up some booze. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but the, he's right. The Parmesan will add, I mean, it'll give it a little, it'll be over salty if you, if you go overboard. So not seasoning anything till the end is good, but seasoning everything to taste is, is just as good. And we'll be tasting too because, yeah, come on, you got to taste it, right? Yeah, absolutely. How else do you know? And the nice thing is, is we're about to put a sear on some scallops here mm. in just a minute. Mm -mm -mm. And they are going to be awesome. I love those things, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a uh, shellfish guy. I am too. I mean, I love me some scallops. That sweet, briny flavor. The oh, texture yeah. is... You can't get it anywhere else. Can't it's go wrong with a food. mollusk. Cannot go <laughs> wrong. You know, in all my life, I never thought I'd hear anyone say <laughs> that ever. We need more mollusks up in here. We do, man. Great eating. Yes, they are. And that goes all the way to uh, <laughs> the slugs. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious food. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can survive, you know. It's about surviving, that's for sure. That's all food is about, living. The okay. risotto is coming along. 
One thing about risotto is that it's a real, or that arborio rice is a really, really starchy rice. Yes, it is. Which is why we're always adding liquid, liquid mm -hmm. to that starchy rice. Yes. And you can see it starting to thicken up. Yeah, and I'm telling you, once once all the water cooks down, if you're left there with a pan that's dry, you cannot see any water. It is bind, binding itself together. Those rice kernels are bound together by that starch. It's a glue, and they, they will stick, stick, stick. And be delicious. Oh, yeah, they're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be good. And the mushrooms are going to continue to cook down, and uh, let's see, and then we'll add the shiitakes when they get ready. Right here, then. other thing, that pan is really hot. There's a reason. It, it evaporates a lot of the liquid that comes out of the mushrooms because mushrooms let go of a lot of liquid. Yep. A lot of water. A lot of water. They are... Man, they are so water sensitive. If you let them get too dry, then they start to look bad. We, we had shiitake mushrooms recently at the Tankersley Food Show, and they were li still living on the log at the Kingston, Ar uh, Arkansas mushrooms, still living on the log. Carol Ann, who grows them, she sprayed them the whole day just to keep them moist so they wouldn't dry out. That is um, cool. Just really, really cool to have the living logs of mushrooms. Really neat. Living I learned logs a lot. Of mushrooms. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there's thousands of them out there on the Sweden Creek Farm. They do a great job. That is cool. One of, our, one of my favorite vendors. But these are great. The ongos, the fungus. Really, really great. That looks good, Woody. And you notice the volume has gone way down. Oh, the yeah. more they cook down, the smaller it gets. We'll have less than half of the volume we started with. You think now would be a good time to get out the scallops and get them dried off? Yeah, let's get those babies ready. I'm going to grab you a towel from right here for that. Yes, sir. Let's get those babies ready to go. To the mollusks. Beautiful. U, U eights or U tens? Are they U tens? I don't know. Let's see. But they're good. Oh yeah, U tens. So these are like shrimp. They are ten to a pound, and ah, they okay. are beautiful. That's why they have that number. They're eight to ten of them to a pound, and just like we've done before, you want to make sure they're good and dry before you add anything to them. Just like that. Just pat them a little bit. Okay. And guys, and when we come back from break here, we're going to bring the dish all together for you. We'll get our scallops seared up in the pan. We're going to use some good Weber blend on there, so stick around with us. This is cooking today. Come right back. Everybody, welcome back. We are rocking out some beautiful mushroom risotto. We're making our scallops right now. Woody is going to finish up the risotto, but I'm going to get the scallops going. And I'm going to take just a little, little chunk off the butter and add it to that skillet right there. We are using Weber Steak and Chop blend for the scallops. Man, all you really need is just something to give it some good seasoning. If you're going to use a blackening spice, that works just fine, but this is a great product and it works great on scallops. It makes a great crust over the top of the scallops too, like it, 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 that crust, that little bit of crunch on that sweet, it's just perfect. So we, in, in thinking about that, we're going to be generous with the steak and chop on these scallops. Yeah, and that butter is right there. So. And I'm ready for it, Woody. We're all, all right. good. Make it happen. So we're going to go right into a really hot pan. Okay, if your pan is not hot, you are doing it wrong. I'm telling <laughs> you. So just make sure your pan is good and hot. And we'll get these guys. They do not take long. Just like with any other seafood, they are mostly water. So they cook up really quickly. And our goal with this is to get, like Woody said, we want a good crispy outer edge, okay? So I'm going to cut off one more piece of butter. There you go. While he's doing that, I'm going to put our mushrooms in our risotto. Okay. Simple to do, easy to do. 
kind of fold them in. Let their flavors blend up. Chef do. is going to chop up just a little bit of parsley. And I'm also going to add Parmesan cheese and plenty. No shortage of the Parmigiano. Okay, let me get these guys turned. Look at that. Oh, that, that is that. perfect. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is what I'm talking about right there. And if you need that extra pat of butter in there, add it once you flip those guys. And you're good to go. I'm also going to turn that guy down. That way they don't overcook on me. But I'm done. I'm not going to flip anymore. I'm just going to let all the love work right there. Let me finish up this parsley for you, Woody. Speaking of love working. This, this is, is Italian flat leaf parsley. Yep, I was just about to say that. We are all so on the same page. It's always good. <laughs> the man. <laughs> and what I'm doing is I'm just stirring our Parmesan cheese into our risotto. It's not science. It's not hard. You just kind of fold it in. The risotto's thickened up. It's starting to relax in the pan, which is good. We've taken our, we've taken our naughty toddler and formed him in, or her, you know, depends. Gorgeous. Into a very nice young child. I'm going to step away and grab a paper towel real quick, bud. Just so I can have somewhere to put those scallops at the end. And here's the salt and pepper if you need it, my friend. And we are going to taste my favorite part. These guys are beautiful. I mean, <laughs> they turned out good. And that butter, now you have this beautiful brown butter that your scallops have been cooked in. I mean, look, look, look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, my goodness. That is perfect. Look, look, look. Folks, not difficult at all. Do not be intimidated by a simple ingredient like scallops like that. They are so easy to cook. It only takes just a few moments. Awesome. I'm going to get rid of this guy's hot, Woody. I'm going to go right All behind right. you. Park that right there. Oh, man. Stirring this risotto up. I did put, I did hit it with a little salt and pepper. Okay. It needed the salt, which is good. We're going to grab a plate as well so we can get ready to plate it. Now, now you can put, if you like the herb, if you like a little bit of the of the parsley, you can put it in right now. Kay. Right at the end of the cooking process where you don't ruin the color and the flavor. Ready? Yep. So just a little bit. There you go. It doesn't take much. About a tablespoon is all it needed. But we also, we are, we're cooking today. We always going to put some right on our plate. I'm always going to garnish the plate. We may even sprinkle a little across the top at the end. I'm going to take the trusty pair of tongs and I will leave Woody a little bit of room for the risotto, but I am going to put the scallops in a straight line across one corner of the plate, just like that. Chef Brooks is going to plate this because he plates good, because he's a chef. I'm a DJ. Don't let <laughs> DJs plate your food, let chefs plate your food. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with this then, I'll take a nice... Yep, thank you, Woody. And we will take our risotto and watch this. I'm going to pack it in there. Just get me a little bit on the plate like that. Look at the mushrooms. We're going to do that one more time just to make sure our plate is full. This is why you let chefs plate your food and not DJs. I'll play you a Brad Paisley song. <laughs> <about> that. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> and we'll end the dish with some beautiful parsley just like that man look at here guys look woody Love you are the, the man air. you are the man well, oh, wait, hang on hang on before we go anywhere oh we're eating it we gotta try it yeah this is the best ever mm -hmm. this is cooking today now that is made with love oh my god thank you sir oh man
So thank you so much, Alan Woody from Kicks 104. We love having you on. Woody and I laugh so much when he's on the show. It's such a good time. What a great mushroom risotto. The scallops, man, with the Weber blend on them. Nice crust on the outside. They look beautiful. Turned out so good. What a good dish. Great job, Woody. You guys, join us again next time. We're going to have a good recipe for you. We'll have some good tips for you as well. I'm Chef Brooks, and that's Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by Tyson Foods, proud makers of Tyson fresh and frozen chicken products and toned seasonings. We make the meal. Grill provided by Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Appliances provided by Metro Appliances and more. Cookware and serveware provided by World Kitchen and NWA Restaurant Supply. Food provided by Tankersley Food Service. Produce provided by Kimball and Thompson Produce Company.